Welcome to Making the Rounds, a podcast by the American Medical Association. Today we're featuring an episode from our AMA Update podcast, your physician-focused news source for trending public health concerns, practice issues, and more. When you look at it, at the conclusion of Match and SOAP, when everything was said and done, 99.4% of the positions were filled, and that's actually the same as last year, but with 1,700 more additional positions in the match. Hello and welcome to the AMA Update video and podcast. Today we're talking about the results of the latest match with Jeanette Kelly, Chief of Match Operations at the National Resident Matching Program, or NRMP, in Washington, D.C. And I'm Todd Unger, AMA's Chief Experience Officer in Chicago. Jeanette, we're glad to have you back. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Could it have been an entire year since we last talked about this? It really flew by. So let's just start by talking about the level of participation in match this year. What did you observe yeah. and uh, how did it compare to last year? Yeah, it was another record setting year for the match. I'm always happy when we can say that. Uh, the number of registered applicants was up by 4.1% over last year. So that's an increase of just over 2,000 applicants. And when we look at active applicants, meaning those who certified a rank order list of programs to participate in the match, they were up by 5.3% to 47,208. So both record highs. That's great news. Thank you for that overview. What about the match rate for applicants this year and the fill rate for programs this year as well? Yeah, um, I mean, when you look even just on the position side, there were 40. 3,237 positions in the match. Um, so that was an increase of 4.2% over 2024. Um, so that was also a record high. And what all that translated into was, you know, match rates for applicants remaining steady, even with the continued growth in both applicants and positions. Um, when you look at the applicants, 93.5% of USMD seniors matched uh, to postgraduate year one positions, and that's the same as last year followed closely by DO seniors who achieved a 92.6% match rate. That's an all-time high and 0.3 percentage points um, up from last year. So either consistent or better with a prior year, any insight into what is driving results? Yeah, I mean, really it's all about participation levels. While there was a, a decent increase of 1,734 positions in the match, we saw a steeper increase of 2,355 active applicants. Um, so the increase in applicants this year outnumbered the increase in positions, but everything still remained pretty steady. And, and as always, the, the match is extremely successful in filling almost all of the positions. The fill rate rose slightly, moving from 93.8% to 94.3%, and that's an increase of 0.5 percentage points. You know, we talked uh, last year, you mentioned that pediatrics had a bit of a steeper decline in its match rate and family medicine saw yet another decrease. Are those trends things that continued into this year? And if so, what would be driving that? Last year was really interesting for pediatrics. You know, the pediatrics fill rate dropped last year from 97.1% to 91.8%. But this year, pediatrics offered 3,193 positions, and that's an increase of 54 over two. Uh, over 2024, and they filled 95.3%, so not completely back to previous levels, but a modest rebound. Um, unfortunately, family medicine did see another decrease, filling 85% of their 5,357 positions compared to almost 88% last year. And that's largely due to an increase of 144 positions. So when you look at it, the number of positions in family medicine has increased by 534 over the last five years but the number of applicants preferring the specialty just isn't keeping pace and, and has decreased over that same time period. Well, in addition to that, have you seen any other noticeable trends or surprises among the other specialties? Not a ton of surprises. I mean, we did see a few things. The, you know, the increase in the number of positions offered in primary care specialties was up by almost 800 this year, or over 800 really. And that was led by an increase of almost 700 positions in internal medicine. So um, those numbers are really going up. The number of positions in thoracic surgery, neurological surgery, and interventional radiology all increased by more than 10%, but all either filled completely or filled all but a handful of their positions. And um, happy to see that emergency medicine, medicine has almost returned to their pre-COVID fill rate of 98%, even with a modest increase in the number of positions that they offered. 
That is good. It's, it must be the pit that's driving all of that. Um, I was wondering, yeah. Uh, I also wanted to ask you about the results of the SOAP process, and that stands for, of course, Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program. And this is when unmatched or partially unmatched applicants can obtain an unfilled residency position. How did that go this year? Yeah, it went really well, certainly on the position side. I mean, there are always a lot more applicants uh, in SOAP than there are positions. This year, there were 2,521 positions in SOAP. Uh, that's down 54 positions from last year or 2.1% lower. And we filled 2,318 positions in a series of, of those four offer rounds. And when you look at the actual rounds themselves, those happen on Thursday, all four rounds happen in one day. 56% of the positions filled in the first round and 24% in the second round. So 80% of the positions filled in those first two rounds. That's good news. Well, thank you so much for sharing these insights, uh, Jeanette. Uh, before we wrap up, you, do you have any final thoughts on the match this year or how this year's match may impact medicine in future years? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest piece of it, I mean, when you look at it, at the conclusion of Match and SOAP, when everything was said and done, 99.4% of the positions were filled. And that's actually the same as last year, but with 1,700 more additional positions in the match. And I think that's really remarkable, particularly since there were so many changes this year in the application and interview process. There were new application services in the space. More specialties are using things like signaling and, you know, some of them are going back to in-person interviews. But really, even with all of these changes and shifts in the transition, I'm just always thankful when I'm able to say that the matching process itself was kind of completely unremarkable, to be honest with you. The match really remains consistent and frankly outstanding at what it is intended to do, which is match as many applicants and programs to their preferred options as possible. Well, that is good news. And uh Seeing all those matches on Instagram and Facebook, they never get old. So uh, what right. an exciting, so much fun. exciting time of year. Well, thank you so much again for joining us. And we look forward to talking with you again next year, although I'm not wishing a year to go by that fast again, but it will be here soon enough. And congratulations Indeed. to everybody out there who matched. It's an incredible accomplishment, and we look forward to your future as physicians. The AMA provides med students with everything they need on the road to residency and beyond. So support our work. You can become an AMA member at ama-assn.org slash join. That wraps up today's episode. We'll be back soon with another AMA update. Be sure to subscribe for new episodes and find all our videos and podcasts at ama-assn.org slash podcasts. Thanks for joining us today. Please take care. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to follow Making the Rounds on your favorite podcast platform. Learn about other AMA podcasts by visiting ama-assn.org slash podcasts. Thanks for listening.